హలో ఎవ్రీ వన్ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు మై యూట్యూబ్ ఛానల్ అన్ఫాగ్ విత్ డాక్టర్ అతహర్ పర్వీన్ హియర్ ఐ యామ్ టు సాల్వ్ వన్ మెయిన్ డౌట్ ఫ్రమ్ ఆప్టిక్స్ ఐ యామ్ గెటింగ్ మెనీ రిక్వెస్ట్ ఫ్రమ్ యాస్పరెన్స్ రిగార్డింగ్ దిస్ డౌట్ దిస్ డౌట్ ఈస్ అబౌట్ ది నంబర్ ఆఫ్ ఇమేజెస్ ఫార్మ్డ్ బై టూ ప్లేన్ మిరర్స్ ది నంబర్ ఆఫ్ ఇమేజెస్ ఫార్మ్డ్ బై టూ ప్లేన్ మిరర్స్ డిపెండ్స్ అపాన్ ది యాంగల్ బిట్వీన్ ద మిరర్ Actually, there are two formulae to find the number of images formed by two plane mirrors. Now, the doubt which aspirants have is, one formula is this, that number of images is equal to 360 upon theta minus 1. Another formula is there, which is 360 upon theta. So, the doubt is, madam, which formula should be used when to find the number of images formed? So here I am to clear your doubt because this is a very very important concept. I am expecting one question from this concept. So stay tuned till the end. This is going to be a very short doubt clearing session. So make sure that you understand this concept and uh, try to answer all the questions which I am going to solve in this class. Okay. And uh, please do let me know in the comment section if you like this class or no. Okay. After watching this class. So if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to this channel right now for uh, more such classes in uh, near future as HSTR notification is awaited, GPSTR notification is awaited. So to stay connected with me, you have to subscribe to this channel and also you can join my telegram channel. The link of the telegram channel will be given in the description. Okay. So the main point which you have to understand regarding which formula to be used when to find the number of images is if the value of 360 degree upon theta is e1 then you will use this formula number of images is equal to 360 degree upon theta minus 1 okay so when you are using this formula you are using this formula when 360 upon theta whatever the value you get will be a e1 value okay in another scenario that is if your 360 upon theta is odd then number of images will be equal to 360 upon theta only okay so when you will use this formula 360 upon theta when you are getting 360 upon theta's value together you are getting some odd number okay then it will be 360 upon theta okay so i will discuss about this again and again while solving the problems also so stay tuned okay so now what we have to remember is if 360 upon theta is even you are using 360 upon theta minus 1 if 360 upon theta is odd then you are using 360 upon theta okay this will give you a number of images for example, if your theta is 60 degree, so to find the value of 360 upon theta, what you are going to do, you will substitute theta as 60 because theta is 60 degree, correct? So 360 upon 60 will give us 6. So the value of 360 upon theta we got is 6. Now see whether this is an even number or odd number. Of course, it is an even number. So if it is an even number, what we have to do? If 360 upon theta's value is coming out to be even number, we have to use number of images is equal to 360 upon theta minus 1. So 360 upon theta is 6 and this is an even number. So, my number of images will be 360 upon theta minus 1 that is 6 minus 1. So, my number of images will be 5. Okay. So, this is the concept. I hope you are understanding. See, I will tell you once again. What I did? I substituted the value of theta which was 60. So, I cancelled it. 6 1s are 6 6s are. So, the value of 360 upon theta I got is 6. 
Now this value turned out to be a even number. So if it is a even number, then number of images will be equal to 360 by theta minus 1. That is 6 minus 1. So simply what you have to do, when you are getting a even number, subtract it with minus 1 to get number of images. Okay, if it is a even number. If it is an odd number, don't subtract. As it is, you have to write. Okay, so number of images formed here is 5. Another example. If theta is 40 degree. So, we should know that if I substitute the value of theta, if I am getting even number, I will do minus 1. If I am getting odd number, I will not do minus 1 for finding the number of images. Now, 360 by 40. So, 0, 0 will get cancelled. 4, 1s are 4, 9s are. I am getting 9, which is a odd number. So, if it is a odd number, then I will not do anything. So, my number of images will be as it is. That is 9. This will be my number of images. Okay. So, what I did? I found the value of 360 by theta, which is 360 by 40. This turned out to be 9, which is a odd number. If it was an even number, then I would subtract it with minus 1 to find the number of images. But because it is a odd number, I am using this formula as it is. That's why number of images formed is 9 here. Okay. Another example. If theta is 90 degree, substitute the value of theta here. 360 by 90. 0, 0 will get cancelled. 9, 1s are 9, 4s are. So, 4 is an even number. So, I know that if I am getting the value of 360 by theta as even number, then I will use number of images is equal to 360 by theta minus 1. Correct? So, number of images is equal to 360 by theta minus 1. I already got 360 by theta as 4. So, I will subtract it with minus 1. So, number of images will be 3. Okay. Another example. If theta is 180 degree, then what I do here, I will substitute theta with 180 degree. So, 0, 0 will get cancelled. I will get 2 here. And what is 2? It is a even number. So, if I am getting a even number, then I have to use number of images is equal to 360 by theta minus 1. So, 360 by theta which I got here is 2. The value of 360 by theta I got is 2. So, I will subtract it with minus 1. So, number of images formed is 1. Note that if 360 upon theta is a fraction, what you will do? See, we were telling that if we have even number value for 360 by theta, then we will subtract with minus 1. If we have odd value of 360 by theta, we will write the number as it is. But what will you do if you are getting 360 by theta as a fraction? At that time, you will use the only integral part. For example, if I am getting 360 by theta's value something like 7.2. At that time, I will use this number as only 7 which is a odd number. And for odd number, I don't need to subtract 1. So, my number of images will be 7. Okay. So, I will do one example based on it. Don't worry. Okay. So, this is the first note. What is the second note? The smaller the angle, the greater the number of images. This you should remember. Why? See, I have 360 by theta. The lesser the value of theta is there, I will get the more value for number of images. Because theta is in the denominator. And what is theta? It is the angle. Correct? It is the angle between the plane mirrors. So, the smaller the angle, the greater the number of images. So, these two points you have to remember along with the odd and even values of 360 upon theta. Okay? Clear, right? I am giving you example here. See, two mirrors are inclined at an angle of 50 degree. Then what is the number of images formed for an object placed between the mirrors? 
now i have to first to find the value of 360 by theta then only i will know whether my value for 360 upon theta is even or odd correct so what is theta theta is 50 degree so i will substitute it here 360 upon 50 so this and this zero will get cancel 5 ones are 5 5 7 is a 35, 5 2 is a 10. So I am getting 7.2. It is a fraction. So from this 7.2, I am going to take only the integral part, which is 7. And this is a odd number. So if it is a odd number, I don't need to subtract with minus 1 because number of images for value of odd number for 360 upon theta is 360 upon theta as it is. So my answer will be 7. okay in case if i had got 6.4 or something like that now this what i would do i would take the integral part as only 6 which is a even number for even number what i have to do i have to subtract with minus 1 so my number of images will be 5 in this scenario okay got my point right and what was the another point which i told the theta if it is smaller then 360 upon theta value will be larger so the smaller the angle greater will be the number of the images because 360 upon theta is nothing but number of images okay so that depends if it is a even number then again you will subtract with minus 1 if it is a odd number then you will keep the number as it is okay Now let's do this exercise. What is the question? Formula for number of images formed by two plane mirrors incident at an angle theta is n is equal to 360 upon theta. If n is even, the number of images is n minus one. If n is an odd number of images, correct. Now I have to match column one to column two. So what I will do? I will use 360 upon theta every time. So 360 upon theta means upon 60. So it is a six six za. So this is a even number. So it should be five. Correct. Then similarly 360 upon 40. It is a four nine za 36. It is a odd number. So I will write the number of images as it is. Correct because it was even. Because it was odd. If it is even, I will do minus one. If it is odd, I will not do minus one. Like that, only three sixty upon ninety. So this will give me four. Now this is even, so I have to do minus one. This will be my number of images. Like that, only I have one eighty. So eighteen ones are eighteen twos are. This is a even number, so I have to do minus one. This will be my number of images, which is one. Now match it. It's very easy, right? So A will be three. B will be one, C will be two, and D will be five. Correct. So this will be the correct match for column one and column two. Okay, clear, right? So I really hope that I cleared this very very important doubt from optics because this is a expected question in HSTR, in GPSTR, and even in TET also because we all know that the syllabus was uh, changed for TET this time, right? So as per the new syllabus, you have to go for our HSTR syllabus level for physics, chemistry, and biology. So in that point of view, this becomes a very important topic for TET as well. Okay, so here I wanted to show you how to prepare for each topic. Like for example, we have taken the topic of mirrors in this. discussion and we have thoroughly practiced everything from that topic right so if any question is asked from this part you will surely be able to answer in the examination either it be hstr gpstr or tet so you should make sure that you prepare for each topic deeply in this manner the way we have discussed in this class okay so this will help you to crack the exam even if it is tet or to get in the merit list even if it is hstr or gpstr okay now see friends this is the high time for you all to prepare for all this later when notification comes you will not have time so much time will not be there to prepare for each topic deeply 
okay so this is the time for you to go in deep later when notification comes you will be ready with the only going generally for revision so that time will be enough for revision of that entire syllabus okay so that's why i wanted to tell you all that uh, please keep preparing properly and uh, try to go into deeper for all the topics especially the important topics for your exam either it be hstr gpstr or tet okay okay then so this was all about this class i really hope that you like this class if you have any doubt please do let us know in the comment section and if you want to join our telegram group you will get a link in the description below this video and also if you have not subscribed to our channel subscribe right now and share among other aspirants who are interested to write these exams okay thank you all the best bye